news. Another boat carrying asylum seekers has sunk north of Christmas Island. One body has been recovered from the ocean. Scores have been rescued. It happened just 13 nautical miles from where another boat capsized last Thursday. It was a tragic backdrop to the debate in Parliament, where MPs spent the day locked in an emotional debate on asylum seeker policy. We'll have more from Canberra and our correspondent in Jakarta shortly. But first, what we know so far is rescuers have picked up 125 people. Up to 150 may have been on board. Australian police received a phone call from the boat at 6.17 this morning. Three merchant ships were on the scene about four hours later. The boat capsized and sank in Indonesian waters, 107 nautical miles north of Christmas Island. Most of those on board are believed to be Afghan women and children. Australian Navy ships and a spotter plane also helped in the rescue. We begin our coverage with the ABC's Indonesia correspondent, Matt Brown. The Australian government says the first distress call went out at 17 minutes past six Australian Eastern Standard Time this morning and it set off an extraordinary chain of events. Callers on the boat using a satellite phone said they were two nautical miles away from Christmas Island. But when search and rescue teams went to that location, they found nothing. It wasn't until around an hour later that another call came through to say the boat was in fact 107 nautical miles away from Christmas Island. That put it around halfway between Christmas Island and the Java mainland. And that's when Australian authorities sent a fax message to their Indonesian counterparts to say around 150 Afghan women and children were on board. When a merchant ship arrived on the scene another three hours later, it reported the boat was still afloat and the passengers were on deck wearing life vests. It wasn't until another hour had passed that the boat was reported to be sinking. The Indonesians don't have ships that can make that rescue voyage quickly, but the Australian Navy sent two ships and a surveillance plane to help with the rescue effort. In Indonesia now, the police are waiting for details of interviews with the survivors to see if they can work out who sent this boat. And they're still piecing together details of the last fatal voyage. Here, police and politicians alike see this as a problem created by Australian policy, a problem they can do little about. Matt Brown, ABC News, Jakarta.